Hey there, fellow puzzle lovers and CAD designers. In this tutorial, I will show you how to model a hexagonal puzzle. We will need just one sketch and one extrusion. We will be working especially with the transform tool in the part environment and apply a linear relation between cylindrical mates. The finished model can be 3D printed. Okay, here I am in an empty part studio. I press S for the sketch command. Take that top plane, press N for normal view, P, hide all planes, S. Take my polygon sketch tool, place that at the origin. Six-sided, okay. Press H, make that line horizontal, give that an overall height of 88. Press L for the line command. Click on that edge. Touch that edge here. Go back. And I get the parallel constraint here. Then I connect that to that edge. Go to the midpoint constraint and make that with B parallel to that side and the sketch is fully defined. I press um, Shift E. Take that um, region, that sketch region and extrude that 22 millimeters. Um, I'll rename that part brick one and give it some distinctive color. Maybe that one. So, um, let's, um, go to the transform tool here and transform by rotation um, that brick one around that axis as a copied part with a 60 degrees. Okay, I'll call this one here brick two and change the appearance of that to uh, yellow. Okay. Next, we will transform or copy those two parts. So back to the transform, copy entities, those two, and translate by distance We'll use the, that 22 distance and maybe click on that edge here to the top. Okay, accept that. Rename part three, brick three, change the appearance on that to different color here. And then that one here, rename brick four with the appearance of red, yeah. All right, for the next transform, we need to define two mate connectors. And the first one will be on this edge here. Here. With the Z axis pointing outwards. Brick two, the yellow one. Okay, 
do that one more time. This time, um, on this edge here, this face, with the z-axis pointing outwards again. Accept that. And now, back to our transform command. We want to transform those two by mate connectors from that one to that one. Copy. Oh, no, we don't want to copy it this time. By pressing K on the keyboard, we can hide the mate connectors. And this is one third of the puzzle. The other parts are identical. And we'll make a composite part of the four parts. I'll just want to select all of them. And that's it. Next, let's go into the assembly environment by pressing that tab here. Go to insert, pick composite parts, deselect parts. Take that one. Drop it there. Take one more of those. And the third one over there. Accept that. Okay, so we got the three parts. Um, let's take this as the base part of our assembly and fix it. So I'll right click here and fix it. Then let's um, range this as the second part, which will slide in the slot, so to say. I double click. Turn that around, move that up, a little out. And so this will be sliding in here. I use the um, um, cylindrical mate and pick my mate connectors from our composite parts. So the first one will be on this edge. The Z axis is right on that axis, pointing outwards. I take that. And then I go to this edge, um, pick that. Go to limits. We'll apply a zero uh, minimum limit and a 66 maximum. I accept that. And let's just animate our mate here. All right, the linear part of it. Huh? Good. And let's repeat that process for the third part. So I double click on that one and turn that around. So I move that over here, downwards. So I'll pick those two edges here for my next um, 
cylindrical mate. So there again, Z axis pointing that direction and that one. Okay. Ah, I forgot the limits. So edit limits again from zero to 66. All right. And now we will connect those two cylindrical mates with a linear relation. I pick that one and that one at a relation ratio one. Um, hover over cylindrical one mate, right click, animate the linear part. Okay. If um, instances are constrained, we have to reverse um, the um, direction here between those two um, mates. One more time. And there, both slide at the same time into position, slide in and out. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it inspiring. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting CAD tutorials. Thanks for joining me today and until next time, keep modeling.